What it do? What's up, P and M gang? What it do, gang? Y'all already know proof. And pre, it's in the building. Y'all already know when we're about to shut the building completely. Damn. We about to shut the building completely down. Y'all check it out. Before the video even start, y'all do me a big favor and follow us on Instagram. Ushi for a regular P. They don't ever go get active. So today we're about to be doing a Q and A because it's a new year and we don't want to just come on here without giving y'all an update because every year we're going to be different like every year is going to be like an elevation from pre our goals change every year like it's different things we want to get into every single year our mindset change like our surroundings change just gonna give y'all an update on fruit and pre let y'all know what i hear that let y'all know what we've been up to y'all inside scoop in our relationship because we mad different from when we started last year right they are i feel like we gotten stronger at that comfortable yes has gas in we both laugh at it comfortable like, <laughs> Y'all yeah. <laughs> just stay tuned, watch the full video, and make sure y'all like this video, y'all. Like it up. Stop the video right now and like the video. Comment down below your favorite part. Join the family. Get us to 400,000 subscribers, y'all. We on a roll. Not 300, not 250, 400,000, y'all. Without further ado, we about to go ahead and tap into these questions. I asked people on my Instagram. Pre didn't do it, y'all, but I did. I asked people on my Instagram, y'all give me some questions. Give me and Pre some questions that we can answer on a video. And y'all comment some juicy stuff. I'm not gonna lie. If we don't answer your question and you asked it and we don't answer, it's because it's really kind of relevant. This is a new year. We're or it's self-explanatory. We just not an answering stuff that don't need to be answered. Let's get into, into the, the video. video. So, so y'all, we got some Pizza Hut. We got some cinnamon sticks from Pizza Hut. Ooh. And then we got jalapenos on the side. They actually starting to love jalapenos, y'all. It is mad. It's good. good. It's really good, y'all. Y'all eat jalapenos. Comment down below. We got some pepperoni Ooh. pizza with the bacon on the top. It's stuff crust. I don't know why she keep getting that. Hey, let me just eat a pizza real quick, bro. Right, let, let's, let's eat a pizza. pizza. Okay. You got ranch, babe? No. I don't think we got ranch. I'm gonna cry about it. Mm. Mm. It's like flat. This pizza's not like thick. It's flat. They ain't got nothing on Marcos, but they good though. Yeah, that's alright. Oh yeah, I forgot about the jalapenos. I would've never thought. You'll be eating jalapenos? No, but they're just spicy, y'all. It's nothing wrong with jalapenos. I like hot stuff when it comes to like hot chips and stuff, but this good though. You gotta put it all over the pizza for real. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. We just put it all in. Mmm. You like it, babe? You know my food is so good, it just makes you wanna sing. Oh, yeah. It just makes me wanna holler. Yeah, this y'all busted. <laughs> Is that good, baby? The jalapeno is making it hit the spot. Like, yeah. It's adding that spice to it, girl. Mmm. Tastes like candy. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm. I ain't gonna lie, I might mess me up three pizzas max. So I'm gonna start off with, uh, uh, I'm gonna just go straight into it. Mmm. How many times a week do y'all do it? Oh my god. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have answer that. We do it every day. <laughs> That's embarrassing. If my stuff is not on, we're gonna do it every day. Like, <laughs> yeah. we just being real with y'all. Y'all wanna know? Y'all wanna know? So, we go to die every day. That's how many times a week we do it. If we don't get Seven it done, we. Yeah. <laughs> if we don't get it done, it's been a bad, it's been a bad day. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, but we just had stuff to do all day, then yeah. we went to sleep. But mm -hmm. yeah. other than that, we don't miss a day. Mm -mm. <laughs> when we miss a day, I feel like, damn, babe, did I do something wrong? <laughs> like, it just don't, it feel like I done adapted to it so much that it just, it ain't gotta happen. I ain't gonna use one time on that. <laughs> what are your worst fears in your relationship? Yeah, I don't mind our dog barking. He gonna bark regardless. My worst fears in a relationship, of course, it's getting cheated on. Like, that's just like you broke our trust and it's like, we don't got trust, you don't got nothing. Like, my worst fear is really you giving that pussy up. Like, you giving it up. Like, you know it belong to me. Like, that's a, that's a bad fear for she me. She said that to me all the time, y'all. A buff dude, like a dude that's like, oh, yeah. like 300 pounds, like he disrespect free or such free booty or something. And it's like, like, what do, what, what do I do? You know what I'm saying? Do I just pull a Glock out and just shoot his ass? Like, do I fight that? Like, what do you do? <sighs> like, what do you do? I don't care how tall and buff he is. You better give it heart, okay? I told Pri, I said, Pri, I'm going to swing on him. And then once he hit me back, I'm just going to run away. <laughs> as long as she know, like, like you try. You try, baby. Like, I'm going to eat that. My worst fear 
in a relationship is mm. getting cheated on, obviously. And um mm. I feel like that's it. Just getting cheated on. Well. Yeah. And being disrespected, but sometimes you won't have arguments and disrespectful moments. So I think that's really my worst fear getting cheated on. Yeah. It's gonna break me to my heart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. You're not eating your crust, baby? Come on. Your crust. No, I ain't eating it yet. I'm, I ate it out. Next question is, what are some things you guys regret doing while being together? Mm. I'm going to repeat the question for y'all because I don't know if I read it right. What is some things you guys regret being while being together? I don't regret anything. I don't regret anything just because it all led me here. Like, yeah, like, even like stuff you went through. It worked how God wanted it to work. Yeah, like, the stuff you went through, you never make us stronger. It made us have a stronger bond, be more comfortable around each other, mm-hmm. get to know each other better, actually. Another bottle of this pizza. Mmm. Ooh. You been eating a jalapenos, baby? You been what? Have I? You been messing them things up? Mm-hmm. Mmm. 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 I'm sorry, y'all. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm. Your girl is rocking a new hair color. Tell me how it tastes. Yeah, peep that duck. Peep that duck. Peep that duck. Okay. Mm. It's good? Mm. Mm. Now I'm about to dive in. Oh, I'm about to dive in. Ooh, oh, oh. Somebody asked. When will you start planning the wedding? So the true answer to when we would, well, when the, I, when the wedding will be planned by the both of us. So I'm not going to be planned, it's not just be me. Because just because I propose, would that mean that I got to take on all the wedding preparations? Of course preparations not. Like, like, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. So, when we decide to plan a wedding, babe, do you want to have our kid first or do you want to plan a wedding first? That's the big question. Oh. That's the big question. Before I answer that one, I got to just have some conversation with Pre real quick. I'm gonna have your kid first. Before I put that, before before we walk down that aisle, yeah. Okay, okay. So my daughter could be the flower girl, or my son could be the ring bearer. We'll get married. It's coming soon, y'all. That's not too soon, but soon. Mm-hmm. Probably like probably next year, probably after that. Yeah. So we don't gonna rush anything. We wanna actually plan out our wedding detail how we want it to yeah, be. Yeah. Nobody wanna just rush it because you know. Cause the internet will try to rush you to rush something. Like you don't gotta, you can move on your, move on your step, move on your accord. Yeah. Whatever's best for you and your partner. Mm. Mm. We've been talking about it, but we haven't planned a exact day. Stay tuned, cause it's coming soon. Oh, I like this question. Let me hear it. What is something y'all think y'all can work on in y'all relationship? Mm. I'm gonna go That's a very good question. You want me to go first, baby? I'm gonna take it. I got it. What you gonna say? I feel like one thing you can work on is our relationship. Faith. I feel like I feel like we get we need to get used to not being with each other all the time, like twenty four seven. (laughs) Yeah, because we are together twenty four seven. We work together, we eat together, we live together, we sleep together. We with each other 24-7, and sometimes we just need our personal space, not because we're going through something, not because we're arguing, it's because we still are individual person. So to get our personal space, I feel like, yeah, that's something we do yeah. need to work on. We don't need to like, be with each other 24 Because I feel like communication, like, I feel like we communicate really well. Like, even if it leads to an argument, one thing I'm going to do is communicate. I ain't going to bite my tongue. Mm-hmm. She'll call me if she leave the house and get some fresh air, babe. I felt like we could have did this and that. That's one thing we did not have last year. That we have this year. Yeah. Like, we worked on it better. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And I feel like that's it. That's one thing that we can't work on is what my baby said. So. Mm-hmm. Somebody said, how was it in Texas? I always wanted to move there. I mean, it depends. Like, what is your occupation when you come here? What do you do? I feel like Texas is a good place to live at, though. Like, it's real. Like, it's a vibe. Like, yeah. It's a new, it gives you a new start. You know, like... Mm-hmm. It's comfortable, but I'm very comfortable here. I can't even lie. I'm comfortable here too. This is a really good place. I to would stay. never say it's not a good place to stay because yeah. I ain't gonna lie. We're comfortable. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get bothered, but I'm not gonna work because you never know. But still, nobody don't bother me. 
I beat it myself for some. We beat it ourselves, so. You know. Yeah. You gotta adapt to the people because the people ain't cut how you cut, but mm -hmm. that is just a part of adapting to somewhere, you know? The people is very different. People think of Texas are rep think about the cowboys and stuff. <laughs> it's not like that. Especially it's in Houston. Not. It's not like that. Like, you're gonna see regular people like. Next question is. It's, I think it's for my baby. Yeah. Do you consider yourself bi or gay? Mm. <clears throat> Which one of mine, baby? The one I drank most? Yes. I consider myself... <laughs> yeah, but all right, that tripping. But I consider myself definitely gay. Finding, finding who you are, finding what you love, finding, finding you, you know. And I feel like, well, I feel more comfortable. I'm, I love unconditionally is when I'm with a female. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah, I feel like I'm gay. This is what I like. This always what I always wanted, but never could express. So now that I'm able to express it, like I don't really like, like grasp it, and I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't never want to be with like. No other sex, no nothing. Like, I, this is what I want. I want a female. Like, even if me and Pri don't work, I will always be with a female. So, excuse me. Which we're gonna work. If we so. is gonna work. Question about me. I consider myself gay because I'm with a female. Like, and I'm not like attracted to dudes. Like, I look at a dude if he's trying to flirt or something. I'm like, ew. Like, I don't know. Dudes just, it's just ill when it comes to them. But when my baby is like, damn. Golly. Next question. A bond you're glad is over. I feel like a bond that I'm glad is over is any bond that I don't have. It's so crazy because I always ask God to remove anybody that's not for me. That any bond that I don't have as of right now, I'm happy that I don't have it. It wasn't meant to be. You know, like it was no force in that. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I feel like I tried to make it work, or if I feel like I tried to, I tried my best. You feel me? Like. And like, I don't know. I just feel like if it wasn't meant, it just ain't meant. Like, going on about your business. Feel me straight up. And I agree, same with me. I don't miss any bond that I don't have anymore because Time it's the reason why I don't have that bond anymore. Like, why you want to something that ain't even meant to be? It's not for me, and that's just that. God wants you to be over there, and God wants me to be somewhere else. And that's cool. Next question. It said, Pre, how would you feel if Fru said she wanted to be your best friend again? I'm goofy. Well, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I will be sad. I will be heartbroken. Like, I will really be heartbroken because I love her. Like, I love her more than a best friend. So if she says she wanna be my best friend, like, well, damn, I can't. I can't be your best friend because uh, 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 you stay back. Not because I love you. Like, I I wanna be more than that. Like, the affection and the love that I wanna give you is not best friend material. Mm -hmm. It's more than that. It's Forever long term wife type stuff. It's not, oh, okay, hi, best friend. It's not none of that. I want to give you a type of love on the next level that you never had, obviously. If it was vice versa, babe, how would you feel? I'd be hurt. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You don't think you'll go with another girl after that? No, I think you would. I think you would. I don't think you would just let me control your whole life. If you leave me, I'm not gonna just stand there. I'm just not be with nobody else for the rest of my life. That's gonna fuck. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. Like, I'm gonna give it time. I'm gonna give it time. Like, a period of time, long period of time. If it don't, if it's not giving, like, if you ain't being back locked in, but I realized, damn, it ain't really been eight, nine months. Mm -hmm. I'm really just sitting here, like, this girl probably doing her. And I'm sitting here looking stupid. Of course, I'm gonna move on. Because I'm gonna be depressed. I'm gonna be sad and shit. I'm gonna. We live my life. Like, I got two more questions. First okay, question okay. Is, would y'all ever have a threesome to spice up your relationship? I'm gonna let baby answer that. No, nope, no, you're not. You're gonna answer it. I'm not gonna answer that. No. I'm, I'm gonna say no on my behalf because a threesome with girls is like you have to incorporate oral, you have to incorporate skin to skin contact. And I don't know what somebody else might have or. You know, I just don't know, and I don't like, I don't want to put my mouth on everybody. I don't want to put my skin on everybody, so it's like, I won't personally have a threesome with nobody. Would you, babe? Um, why are you staring at me, yo? She, she be tweaking, bro. Why are you staring at I'm me? I'm listening. Yo? She waiting for me. Um, honestly, 
I wouldn't have a threesome only because, like Priest said, like, what am I gonna do with them? Like, what am I gonna kiss somebody that's not even my partner in the mouth? I'm not doing that. Like, right, what am I, what sexual could I do to them? Other than, you're striking. I ain't got time for that. I'm not like a big guy. For real. So, it's nothing like, I feel like, no. Man, it'll just be, it'll be too many limits. I don't like limitations. I don't like to, like, I stop right here and they can't be took in there. Uh, being like, you know, like, what you mean? It just be too many limitations. Like, it's specific stuff that I wouldn't be able to do. And when I went pre, I do whatever I want to do. Like, I don't like And I let her do whatever she want to do, too. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, y'all, y'all enjoyed this video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your post notification bell for so y'all never miss a video. I'm so sorry that I dog barked literally the whole video. Literally. But we're still going to post this video. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know who it is. So it's cool. Make sure y'all follow us on our social media platforms, especially Instagram, Oopsie Foreign, Red Girl Pre. But without further ado, Bro and Pre.